Hi, I'm Dr. David Weiss, and we have a follow-up of the patient we did the Charcot foot injection on. It's been about two weeks since we've seen her, and I'm happy to tell you that this is quite impressive. The warmth from the Charcot foot has gone down significantly, and the redness has gone down. It's still going to be swollen for a really long time because of what's going on under here, but with Charcot foot, there's a terminology we use called the cytokine storm, which essentially means cytokines are uh, inflammatory markers in the body. And with a Charcot foot, there's an enormous amount of inflammation that goes on because of the little broken bones. So what the placenta injection most likely accomplished was to calm down the inflammation, allowing primary bone healing to happen. And so we're going to do another one of these injections today as Charcot foot is one of the, probably the most difficult condition to treat with any foot and ankle specialist. Ready? So you can see I have my needle positioned right on the broken bone and we're going to get this needle and the, the placenta material right under this area and that is likely where most of this inflammation and fracture activity is happening. So we have our second injection in and I will see this patient in two weeks and we'll reevaluate. The extra bone we're seeing on the x-ray is probably always going to be there, but hopefully the Charcot process is going to be calmed down significantly. The way we handle it is we will have uh, this person in uh, appropriate shoes and inserts and of course managing the sugars properly. Thank you very much. And we're four weeks after the first injection and two weeks after the second injection. So she's had two of these placental injections. What I've noticed here is the warmth has calmed down and the swelling has calmed down. The main, the main thing is the inflammation going on inside of this foot has calmed down and allowing the fractures to start healing. This patient's been in a boot for a very, very long time and our goal now is to get her back into good supportive shoes with an insert and we'll use an insert in the shoe so when she's walking the pressure areas will be a lot better distributed and hopefully this won't happen again. Thank you.